What is up everyone? If you saw my video last week, then you saw me talking about the good old Chevy K5 Blazer and the things that I would like to do to it this year. Maybe not get all of them done, but at least try to get some of them done. It's going to be a busy year for us. We have a new baby on the way, trying to work on the truck. We just bought a house. Um, so we had a lot of stuff going on. Well, that Blazer is a 1989 and this pop-up camper of ours is also a 1989. And so we've been kind of looking at things to do with it to kind of upgrade it a little bit and maybe just do some things to make it look a little nicer because as you can tell it's a little bit outdated so we were looking at maybe whatever color we paint the truck we're going to match it to the pop-up camper and match the little design symbol logo on the back of the truck we're going to match it probably down the side of the trailer here and you know it's it's clean it's a nice trailer but we do want to uh touch it up like down here on this bumper all this it's not really rust i mean there's a little bit of rust on top but it's just kind of the color of the bumper as you can tell the stickers and everything it's all just that color we're thinking about going through and painting the frame all black cleaning it all up and just repainting it painting the outside of the camper uh whatever that gray color is that i go with for the truck and if you saw some of my other videos and you've seen this camper and you've seen how we made the roof racks and we did the roof rack shower on it and everything's still holding up really well you can see where the attachments have rubbed and sat on the strut how it's kind of flaking the paint away so i might touch that stuff up but overall i'm really happy with it i haven't had any issues with it leaking or anything like that um maybe do some upgrades to the propane bottles make it hold two bottles and figure out a way to wire up the batteries to it and if anybody has ever done this before let me know because i need to see how since you know the truck is a big truck it's got 35 inch tires we have some extra sets of 32 inch tires in the garage and i want to try to fit get a converter for uh the bolt pattern for it so i can put on the 32 inch tires on here and try to lift the camper up like eight inches i don't know if that involves cutting and welding yet i haven't jacked up the camper that much to look under it but uh we're kind of thinking that maybe i'm gonna go sideways a little bit we can cut this bracket and try to weld a big piece of tube metal or a beam or something under here that's like eight inches thick just one on each side to, high, to lift it high enough to fit some 32 inch tires so if anybody has ever done that please let me know in the comments below and if you haven't then oh well uh, and if anybody knows anything about auto paint and painting a trailer I want to know what works best because I don't know what's going to stick to this kind of material it's almost like a fiberglass plasticky kind of stuff so any advice would be super helpful and uh if we end up painting it, I guess you'll see it. We'll probably paint it the same time we paint the truck while we have everything out and ready to go. Um, but if you want to see more about what we do to this, then follow along. And I'm going to try to get a video posted next week of something, whether it's this or the truck or who knows what. I'm going to try to get a video next week up also. Um, but yeah, stay tuned. Follow along. If you want to see some of the random projects that we do or renovations or things that we do to our house or just adventures that we take as a family, then hit that subscribe button, like the video, and we'll see you again later. Thanks.